Yo what is up guys, I'm back, gonna be for you. this time we have this 95 rated Marco Van Basten card. Now, I was very interested about trying this card for one reason and one reason only. Is he going to be the most clinical card in the game? Now you'd think so with a 5 star weaver and 95 finishing, but that's what we're going to find out today. So our stats then, so 6 foot 2, got the medium medium work rates, he's got 3 star skills with a 5 star weak foot. Now he is mainly right footed, but obviously he's got a 5 star weak foot so he can play both feet when needed. I decided to go with the engine chem style just to boost up that pace, passing and dribbling a little bit more. But I think more about that after the positive and negative side of things. On alternative position, he can only play the strike and the centre forward role, which is a little bit unfortunate for me because I have R9 and Cantona already, which both can play the strike and centre forward and that's it. So I have to play the 4-3-2-1. But with that being said, it's not too bad overall. I had R9 and him up front together, so it's not overly too bad. So on stats then, so he's got the 88 pace, 96 shooting, 78 passing, 92 dueling and the 82 physical. So on paper, looks like a very, very nice card. But with that being said, if you do enjoy the clips or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does help the channel out a lot. And I'll see you after the positive negatives. Peace. So on to my other thoughts about this Van Basten card then. So first me kicking off is their 3 star skills, 5 star weak foot. Now the 5 star weak foot is obviously very very good. He can hit on both feet, he's very very clinical. And if he didn't have this 5 star weak foot, he would be kind of a useless card in my opinion. Because that 3 star skills is undeniably useless. Now I've only ever used 2 cards with 3 star skills that I've actually enjoyed. And that is Butcher Gueno and Appenda. Now if you see the common link with there, they're both very small and agile cards. Now this, he's a complete opposite, he's a truck at times. I know he says he's got a 90 agility, but he doesn't, it's a lie. It's so much less than that, and especially the 3 star skills, it doesn't help that at all. And he's very, very hard to twist and turn with. But with that being said, that 5 star weave is very, very clinical. Now the pace for me, when he got going, he wasn't slow, but particularly, he isn't really the fastest card. He's generally, mainly, the guy to pass it to in the box and slap a shot off. He's not really anything else other than that. He can maybe do a bit of hold-up play with that strength, but overall, it's a little bit useless in my opinion. Now, next for me is the main and the key attribute about this card, the shooting. Now, is he the best striker in the game? Is he the most clinical card I've used? In my opinion, no. I feel like that Cantona card and the R9 card have a little bit of ooze about them where their finishing is a lot better you're more confident in front of the goal with them i don't know what it is maybe it's because they get themselves into a better position with their skills with their pace a little bit more but overall he very struggles to get the shot off because he's got a defender on his back maybe because he's a little bit slow at turning and sort of that so it's a little bit unfortunate at times in my opinion the next up for me is the passing now this is why you again can't really play him as a hold up striker this passing isn't really adequate enough so he generally has only really got a couple of suited roles he's got a little bit of strength he's got a little bit of pace and he's got a lot of shooting so what do you really do with that you try and hold it up as best you can for himself and maybe get shot off but generally speaking it's a very very hard card to use overall if you're in high divisions or high foot champs rank or stuff like that now the dueling for me 
on paper it looks good with the three star skills with being six foot two with that agility not being what it says in game it's a very very hard card to use and generally you're going to struggle a lot with that unless you're playing someone with pretty much one arm now next to me is the reaction of the ball shot both very very good guns card now especially since you're six foot two you do really need good ball shot and it does have that to be fair in abundance so that wasn't really an issue about him now next up for me is the composure, now as I've already talked about, the shooting goes hand in hand that quite nicely and it will slap a lot of shots on very very nicely. Now he has got air ability to be fair to him, he's got a 95 head next to it with his um, 87 jumping, so he has got that as a little bit of a redeeming factor about the card, but overall it's a little bit hit and miss even on that um, 6 foot 2 height. Now he hasn't got very good stamina and also strength as well, so these are two little bit of lackluster stats as well. Although the strength isn't too bad, the balance does kind of let it down at times, so it won't really be able to hold off the big centre backs and stuff like that. So on to my overall score about the card then. Now first me kicking it off is the pace. Now overall for the pace I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He's not very quick off the marks, he's 6 foot 2 and he's also not very quick when he gets going. So overall I think that's a fair score. Now shooting with me. It is actually quite good overall to be fair, especially when you green it rockets into the back of it. So I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I'm not giving him a 10 because I feel like he missed a few chances where I really feel like he shouldn't have done, especially with the 99 finishing. But with that being said, it is still very clinical and his best attribute. Now passing for me is a 4 out of 10, nothing better than that. It is very, very interesting, especially that long pass. You're not going to be doing any through balls in by any means, so just stay away from that when possible. Now the dueling for me, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He turns like a train, he's got 3 star skills, it's not really what you want and it's very very undesirable, especially at this stage of the game with like team season Saliba, Varane, etc, Lacroix, it's just going to be horrible for him. Now next up for me is the physical attributes, now he actually does have quite good phys physical attributes, sorry. So he has the good stamina, he has a good strength and he also has good head and accuracy, especially being 6 foot 2. So overall for this I'm going to give him an 8 and a half out of 10. I do think that's fair, maybe a little bit more stamina like 90 odd and also maybe a bit more strength, maybe like 90 odd again. And I maybe consider the button a little bit higher but overall I do think that's fair. Now. On overall score for me, I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. I can't give him higher than that. I just don't think he's good enough, especially for this stage of the game. On value points, even for 80k, he is an icon and he is a, a desirable for some people. But overall, I would say absolutely not. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10 value for coins. I feel like for 80k, you could get like that team team teller and he'd be 10 times a card of this, to be honest. Well, that's all for my viewers. Always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. It generally does mean a lot to my channel. And also, let me know what the dim format is like, because I know a lot of you have been requesting a dim kind of format. My videos have like me talking over the clips, so that's what I tried to do to incorporate that into what you guys say. So let me know about that. But I've got nothing more to say. So I'll see you in the next video, and peace out, guys.